All right, time to read the next letter here. This is from uh, CH, initial CH, from Brandon, Manitoba, Canada. Okay, get this stuff out of here. Um, first, he has here the most important thing you must consider. Right there, it's a little tract put out by a Baptist church, Calvary Baptist Church. Um, he says maximum 12 people go there, six members only. Um, says the guy's a cult leader here. Um, and he says you would, not, you would be not saved to his standards as well. The, P the pastor says everybody is lost if not to his standards. So that's what he has written on the back there. So let's read the letter here. I'm trying to get a mosquito there that managed to get in here. So if you see me waving at things and whatever else, I'm not, you know, going crazy. <laughs> Dear Brother Brian, today, Sunday, February 9th, 2020, I left the IFB Church Building and Religion. My name is C.H. I'm 40 years old and live near Brandon, Manitoba, Canada. I write this in the hopes of finding fellowship with the like-minded or with like-minded people who are not pretentious and have a eagerness for truth and knowledge. I'm going to be straight to the point. I'm mainly a calm and relaxed mid-aged man looking only for truth. About five years ago in my darkest years of my life, I challenged myself to prove the Bible wrong. Now five years later and about 16,000 pages later, I am a very grateful King James Version uh, born again believer. Praise the Lord. It's now been two years ago that I was led to believe that I was a wretched sinner heading, headed to hell and the only thing that could could have saved me or anyone was the free gift of salvation that was complete complete by the finished work of Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. Then repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ, Acts chapter 20, verse 21. Um, now getting back to the IFB, I could go on and on uh, like you already have experienced, but the more I was being exposed to their tactics, the more the red flags were jumping out at me. I am one who has always asked many questions, and the more I have been studying and reading, the more I have been led to believe their lack of rightly dividing of Scripture, 2 Timothy 2.15. Um, but every time I would bring up a concern, always by the cult leader, pastor, would put me in my place, stating that I wasn't rightly dividing and getting the context wrong. So with much frustration, I was on search, and your videos, video ministries popped up randomly on the mysteries. And that video revealed and filled in all gaps concerning most arguments relating to biblical understanding. Now, the last straw was that my work apparel was not up to cult leader standards, carpenter, farm labor. Uh, you got to wear those Baptist uniforms. You know, you got to have your, your either black or dark blue suit, to, you know, jacket on with a white shirt and a black tie. Then you're good. You know, look like a government agent. You'll fit in right with a Baptist church. Could say a lot more there, but we'll continue. So I agree the odd um, whole greasy uh, pants, not for, okay for Sunday, Wednesday evenings. But then he had the nerve to say that my heart wasn't right with the Lord and I probably was not uh, saved, his work salvation. So I have now watched many King James Version ministry videos and have a much clearer understanding of the IFB and greater understanding of biblical truths. Anyways, I'm sorry about the, the rant, and I thank you for your time and for the hard work you and your family put into the ministry, which from now on I will support and pray for. I hope and pray that we would be able to meet and fellowship if the Lord should tarry, and if not for sure in the clouds and in heaven, which seems could be before you would even receive this letter. Seems that way a lot, yeah. Oh, also the lessons on dispensation was a great help, and is it is sad to see... So many lost people thinking they have salvation when they don't because they were unwilling to separate and rightly divide between dispensations, the church in Israel and the different ways of salvation. What a difference uh, these keys to have so full understanding of the KJV Bible. And also for these IFB pastors who teach eternal salvation but actually teach a work salvation to keep fear and control of weak Christians. Very well said. Thank you, Lord, for using... You, Brian, as a messenger of truth. Um, P.S. Please pray for me as I 
as this will not be easy for me, as I'm sure it wasn't for you to leave a church. I know it's right in my heart and wasn't a tough decision, but th these... Um, But these, uh, but in, I can't quite make out that one thing there. Struggle to lose control. And while I write this, my texts have been going all off asking many questions, laugh out loud. Like I said, I am a carpenter and a handyman. And if you ever want, I would be more than willing to offer my skills and time to your ministry if needed. Uh, thanks again, Brian. Listen, I understand you probably are probably a busy man with the ministry and all, but I would really like to meet up with you, and I believe without doubt you could help mentor and sharpen my understanding to greater use for the Lord and the people of my area. Also, if you would know of anybody in my area, that would also work. Um, so gives his contact information there. Um, listen, I thought I would send a picture. I know it may be a little much, but I never write letters, hence the bad spelling and punctuation. But I just thought that I know what you look like, and it's always nice to put a face to the letter. Sorry, old ID only pick I could find. Not a problem. So uh, thank you very much for your letter. And um, as far as meeting up and things, well, I don't know. There's certainly some work we have to do. And... Uh, we are going to be looking into doing that more in the future with people. And we'll set up some ways to contact us and whatever else. Um, so we'll see. But uh, as far as the thing of leaving a Baptist church, yeah, you're going to get, get uh, ostracized and shunned and the whole deal. I've been through it plenty of times. Uh, called on the carpet and all the deal, you know, whatever. But it's about your understanding of the Scriptures. Okay. And I'm not trying to, let me just state this, I'm not trying to say that people should just be out there and not listen to any preaching or teaching um, and just be your own, you know, little one-man show or something. No, I'm not saying that. There is isolation there for you as a Christian. That's part of your relationship to Jesus Christ. You have to learn it's just you and Him sometimes. But don't be afraid to listen to, to good preaching and teaching. Some guy uses the King James Bible, listen to him. And the Lord will show you where he's wrong. Okay, including me. I'm not perfect. God's not going to allow me to be perfect. So learn what you can from me. Learn what you can from guys like Peter Ruckman or Lester Roloff or uh, Oliver B. Green. Um, some of these guys, and you say, but, but he said this, and he said, yeah, sure. Uh, listen to them, learn from them, and check them when they're wrong and just say, okay, you know, and if it gets to the point where you say, hey, this guy's wrong here, 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 and here, well, then stop listening. So, um, Thank you for your letter. We're going to go on the next one.